Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to do something a little unusual. We're going to be testing out Cyberpunk, and I have a 3960X and a RTX 3090 video card, and we're going to disable cores. We're going to start off with 16 core, 32 thread for the beginning, instead of doing the full fledged 24 core, 48 thread, because we knew Snow was going to beat the bejesus out of it. So we're starting off with a 3950X CPU, essentially, okay? And we're going to work our way down. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, we're running 16-core 32-thread on the 3960X Threadripper. Check this out. This is more impressive. So 16-core 32-thread. And uh, as you know, CPU virtual, CPU virtual, CPU virtual, CPU virtual. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Those four are the same. Very confusing. But um, <clears throat> seems to be working very well. 30%. So we're getting a lot of data here. This is very, very interesting. This is the 3960X, 24 core. In 8-core, 16-thread mode, we are running Cyberpunk 2077, and we are, that's the CPU there, and we're doing much better. So 45%, 43% usage, 8-core, 16-thread. And um, I want you to take note of something here, really interesting though. Logical CPU, CPU, logical CPU, CPU, logical CPU, logical. So all these are logicals. I mean, sorry, these are logicals, logicals, and these are all real. Okay, so we have eight cores, 16 thread. So that's how you can tell which ones are being used and which ones are not. So all the CPUs are pretty much being used, Some and only three logicals are being used. Everything else is pretty much um, idle. So eight cores. The other one didn't do that <laughs> when I did the other way. So this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, we're continuing again. This is the uh, 3960X 24-core CPU. And we are underdoing it, so we're actually running 6-core, 12-thread right now. Just to show you, there's the CPU, and we're running 6-core, and we're currently at 75% CPU util utilization. So this is uh, much better, and we're running Cyberpunk. We're doing about 94 frames a second. Now, this does not change when I have all 24 cores running, so we're doing, we're doing about the same frames per second if we're having all 24 cores running at the same time. Uh, 24 core 48 thread. So this is impressive. This is working out very, very well. So I would say the minimum system for a for the Cyberpunk game is 6 core 12 thread. All right, we're doing it one more time. <clears throat> this time we're just running 8 cores, 8 threads. We disabled SMT. And uh, check it out. Very interesting how the CPU cores are being utilized. 85%. No CPU bottleneck running at full point, just about 4.3 gigahertz. Steady. 97, 98 frames a second. That's impressive. Very, very good. We configured the 24 core 3960X to a quad core with SMT. So we have four cores and eight logical processors. And we are running about, what is that, 89, 87% utilization. And the GPU is uh, cranking away. So we're trying to figure out, you know, is it CPU bottleneck, uh, video card bottleneck? At the moment, it seems like it's CPU 
bottleneck at the moment because we are running at high utilization. However, we are still pushing 99 frames per second, 98 frames per second. Okay, so we're, so we're doing pretty good, but we're not 100%. We're not at 100% utilization. So that's pretty impressive, actually. We're running about 68 frames a second. This is an RTX 3090 video card. We are running two cores, four logical threads. It is a AMD Threadripper. I have one CCX turned on and one plus one for CPUs. And we are pretty much maxed out of CPU. So this would be the CPU bottleneck for Cyberpunk. Something, some interesting information here. And we're running max CPU core clock here. Just about, we could probably go to 4.5, but it's not doing that, which is interesting. So we are currently running uh, two cores, four logical threads maxed out. And we are playing at 68 frames per second. And it's, and with, just so you know, we're also playing at 3840 by 1600. So we're doing ultra 4K, ultra wide 4K. It's impressive. Wasn't expecting it that to do that. So I hope you guys liked that video. It's a little unusual, but I think it needed to be done because I was curious myself. Because so many people say, oh, it uses this, it uses that. Well, let's find out. <laughs> and that's why I did this video. Um, I think it's a good test. It uses the top of the line video card with third in line in terms of top four uh, CPU. Um, it's not the fastest, but it still gets the point across. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.